Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Panning, you're going to hear that term a lot in audio production. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to pan audio in Studio One. Let's check it out. Panning is a technique of taking audio energy and moving it left, right, or center, and anywhere in between, of the listening stereo field. In some cases, if you're doing surround sound, it's obviously a lot different. You have more choices and more speakers to choose from. Let's take a listen to uh, an acoustic guitar, for example. Let me solo this, and let's play that audio. Now, if I look down here, I can see that this is acoustic guitar left. Let's pan this one to the left, and you'll hear the effect. This will work great with headphones on, by the way. And when it's all the way to the left, it's called hard left. Now let's bring in our right guitar here. Let me solo that, and let's move this one to the right. And that's called hard right. So panning will take the audio energy and send it anywhere between hard left and center, or hard right and center. Now this gives you a lot of creative freedom. Why would you want to do that? Well, oftentimes you're leaving space in the middle here in the center for other instruments like drums or vocals especially. Let's bring in another instrument. Let me go to my tambourine here and let me solo this. Okay, the level's really quiet on the tambourine. I'm going to bring this up to zero. Now I'm going to go up to options. If you don't see this, you can come up to options here and choose input controls. Previously, we are talking about levels, and this here, this gain stage, this input gain, is going to increase the volume level coming from your storage medium. So if you wanted to increase the volume of something prior to hitting your inserts and your fader, this is where you would do it. I'll show you. Okay, I brought it up about 11 decibels. Now let's pan the tambourine in conjunction to our stereo guitars here. Because this is a mono signal, it's not stereo, it's a single audio waveform in one track, we can actually move it anywhere we want now. But be mindful, when you start processing your audio with sends, let's say through reverbs and choruses, you know, it'll affect, you'll, you can often Start with the audio in your left ear and the reverb can throw it to the um, listener in the right ear, for example. So you can see how panning is a real creative tool in audio production at any level, whether you're doing stereo recording or surround sound. And it's really important also that in future videos we'll do something where summing your audio, you want it to be mono compatible. And, you know, we'll get into that later. So, panning in Studio One couldn't be any easier. If you right-click, by the way, on the panning field, you'll see that you have options for editing the automation and removing the automation. Panning can be automated. It's a real creative technique. It allows you to draw in what you want an instrument or sound source to do automatically so your hands and attention can be elsewhere. So keep that in mind. So it's as simple as that. Panning, left, right, center, play around with the stereo field a little bit, and have some creative fun here with Studio One. Hey everyone and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.